Hi everyone, it's Joanna here. So today we'll be breaking down the foundation of doing lower body workouts. So the exercises will be targeting specifically on your quads, your glutes, as well as your hamstrings. Sometimes when we do a workout, we might not know exactly which muscle group we're targeting. So that's what we will be focusing and learning today. This workout will be low impact and it will be slow in pace. So let's get started. So let's start with a quick warm-up to prep our lower body. So remember to always stand in a neutral position. Hips, toes pointed forward, shoulder width apart, okay? So let's start with few hip circles. Really to prep our hip joints as well as our legs. Good, so hip circles, one way. And now let's go the opposite direction, okay? Big circles, pushing your butt back and your hips forward. Good. And now, few hip openers. So find your balance. Let's start on the left side. Pushing your knees out to the side and back in the center, okay? So really opening up your hip flexor. Good. Few more, up and open. Now change the other side, okay? As high as you can. And remember to point your knees out. Close and point. Give me three more. And point. Good job. Okay, now give me a few half squats. So remember, toes pointed forward, stand in a neutral position. Push your butt back just slightly, okay? So we're not doing a full squat just yet. Just small squats just to activate your quads as well as your glutes. Remember that your knees should always be in line with your toes. So do not push them forward. In line with the toes and push your butt back, chest up. So look straight ahead. Good, few more. Last one more. And up, all right. Okay, now. Let's step right at the edge of your mat. Let's get into inchworms, all right? So, reach your arms down with a slight bend in your knees. Slowly inch forward into a high plank position and slowly inch back. And stand up. Good job. Now, let's try it again. If you can, keep your legs straight and feel a slight stretch in your hamstrings. Reach forward into a high plank, brace your core, and slowly inch back, keeping your legs as straight as you can. Up, two more, okay? Warming up the hamstrings. All the way forward, high plank, brace your core, and back. Last one more. Straight legs. High plank, push into the ground, and slowly inch back all right get back into standing position so this entire workout will be based on repetitions and we want to aim for 15 reps per exercise the first round will be focusing on your quads so your quads are basically muscles located in front of your thighs okay so we will be breaking down your quads your glutes as well as your hamstrings, which is located behind your legs. So let's first start on your quads. So the next two exercises, I want, to, I want you to really focus your mind and your body towards your quads. All right, goblet squat. If you have a weight, grab a pair of dumbbells. And because your legs are bigger muscle group, you can go with slightly heavier weights. I would say between five to seven kilos. With goblet squat, step slightly wider than shoulder width apart. With your toes pointed forward, place the dumbbells in front of you, okay? If this is too much, what you can do is grab onto one dumbbell directly in front of you. And all I want you to do is push your butt back, squat, get your elbows to tap your legs and come back up. So that's a goblet squat. And the load should be in front. So down, push up and feel the load on your quads. 
and up. So, two counts down, one, two, one count up. Good. Push forward, up. So remember, if you can, get your elbows to tap your thighs. Up. Do you feel the work on your quads? That's what we want, okay? The front of your legs. Two counts down, push up, back down, up. Remember to keep your chest upright. So do not lean forward, okay? Chest upright, squat down, control, up. Give me five more. Down, up. There you go. Good. Remember, what are we working on? Your quads. Up. Last two more. Down, push up. Last one more. Down and up. Very, very well done. Okay, the next exercise is going to be forward lunges. So grab onto both dumbbells. Start right at the end of your mat. What I'm going to do is step your right leg forward and push yourself back into standing position. And again, the load should be on the front leg. Okay, so let's go. Forward, push your body weight forward, push back. That's it. So as you step forward, lean forward a little bit, push it back. Feel the work on your quads. Push. Good job. Find your balance. Remember, do not rush through the workout. Let's get our form right. Lean forward slightly, but still keeping your back flat, your chest upright. Push back. Good job. Look at one focal point to find your balance. Back. Breathe out as you push yourself back up. Okay. Keep going. Halfway there. Give me seven more. Push. Push. Six more. Remember to load the front leg and push. Imagine that you're loading all your energy and push it up. Last five. Push, load and push. And try to get your back knee to touch the floor, but do not rest, okay? Last two more. Push. One more on each side. Load. Good job. Pushing through your heels and back down. All right, so drop the dumbbells, okay? So we want to repeat both exercises again. Remember, the focus is on your front thighs, okay? Your quads. Let's start with goblet squat once more. Grab onto one dumbbell, place it directly in front of you, okay? If you want to challenge yourself, you can go with heavier weights even up to 15 or 20 kilos if you want to. Right, step, slightly wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward, ready? Remember, push down, up. Get your elbows to tap and up. Good job. So the whole goal is to slow it when you're down and speed when you're up. Okay, use the force to push yourself back up. Up, very good. Tap, up. If you're struggling, you can always do half goblet squat and push yourself back up, okay? Do not hunch forward. Keep your back straight, down. Good job. Give me five more. Push. Loading on the front leg. Last three more, push. Last two more. And one more. Let's go down and up. Very well done. Okay. It's straight into front lunges. So grab onto both dumbbells, okay? Start at the end of your mat. Remember, as you step forward, lean a little bit forward and push through your front leg. Ready? 15 reps on each leg. Let's go. Lean forward. Push. Good job. Keeping your chest upright, okay? Remember, if you find yourself doing this, this is wrong. Chest up, back flat, and push through the front heels. 
Both legs should be in a 90 degree position. Push. 10 more. Good job. So we're not rushing or fighting against time in this workout. It's all about getting the reps in and really loading the right muscle and getting the form perfect. Good job, let's go. Five more, almost there, push. Lean forward slightly, push. Good job, strong quads. Last three more, push. Two more, let's go. One more, are we ready? Let's go down, low, push. Last one more, and up. Oh, drop the dumbbells. Okay, very, very well done. Your heart rate should be slightly increased as well. And you should feel all the work on your front quads. If you need to take a short break, take a short break, keep yourself hydrated, and in the next round, we want to focus on our favorite part, your glutes. Right, this round, we want to focus on your glutes. So these four exercises are glute-specific workouts. Again, just like what we have done with squats and lunges, it's almost the same, but we want to modify the position to really hit on your glutes. So, grab your dumbbells, all right? So right now, I want you to focus your mind onto your favorite part, which is your glutes. So the first workout is going to be a sumo squat. Step wider than shoulder width apart, okay? Toes pointed out. Just imagine that you're in a sumo squat position. Place both dumbbells in front of you. And as you push, as you squat down, push your butt back, push your knees out and up. So this workout works on your outer glutes as well as your inner thighs. So remember to step wide, but not too wide that you will lose your balance, okay? So only wide enough that you're still able to push up through your heels. Down and up. Same thing, two counts down, one count up. Remember, focusing on your outer glutes, feel the stretch on your inner thighs as well. Give it 10 more, okay? Down, push up. Look straight ahead. Feel the load on your butt. Remember, chest up. Go down, up. Are we ready? Five more. Up, as low as you can. Feel the stretch on the inner thighs. Good. Four more. Up. Last three. Same thing, breathe in as you go down. Breathe out as you come up. Two more. Push. One more. Down and up. Okay, good job. Now, drop one weight, okay? The next workout is going to be a side lunge. So start at the edge of your mat, all right? So grab the dumbbell in your right hand, step up, load and push yourself back up. So remember that the focus should be on your glutes as well. Step out, keeping your legs straight, push. And push, good job. Step out, knees pointed forward, and push through your right heels. Can you feel the work on your glutes, your outer glutes, as well as your underbutt? Keeping your left leg as straight as possible. Okay, five more. Push, good job. Push. Last three more, push. Two more, brace your core, look straight ahead. Remember that neutral position that I always mention, that's what we want. One more, and push. Good, change the other side. At the edge of your mat, now let's go with your left leg. 
Okay, ready? Step out, right leg straight, push. Good job. Bend your left knees, push. Place the dumbbell just in between. If you find that you're struggling, you can drop the dumbbell. Load on your left butt and push yourself back up. So you have to really brace your core, use the strength and power from your left leg to push yourself up. Good job. Give me seven more, push. Step out, right leg straight, push. That's five more. Good. Remember to keep your arms relaxed, okay? That's three more, push. Two more, up. One more, step out and in. Oh my gosh, I am sweaty right now. Okay, now let's get down onto the floor, okay? The next workout is glute bridge. Probably one of our favorite workouts. So lie flat on the floor. Keep your heels close to your butt in a triangle position. If you want to start off with, just place one dumbbell around your hips and all I want to do is use the strength from your butt, your glutes, to push yourself up, okay? Push yourself up, squeeze for two counts, lower yourself down, and before you touch the floor, push yourself up again, all right? If you feel that you're feeling more on your hamstrings, then you have to bring your legs back, closer to your butt. Good job. Control, up, squeeze for two counts, Back down, up, squeeze, there you go. Hold it. Squeeze, hold, back down. Give me eight more. Down, squeeze. So do not rest, okay? Imagine that there's something pulling you through your belly button straight up to the ceiling. Working on your glutes. Up, squeeze. Push through your heels. Squeeze. Last four more. Up. Very good. Oh, glutes on fire. That's two more. Up. Back down and up. Okay, now drop the dumbbell. Get back up. We're still working on the mat, okay? Get into all fours. The next workout is going to be a strict leg kickback, all right? Again, working on mainly your glute maximus. So, what I want to do is point your left leg straight. All I want to do is gently tap onto the floor, push it up and squeeze it. Remember, no rotation on the hips. So, keep it in a straight line. Up and squeeze, down, up and squeeze. You should also feel the work on the under butt. Good job. Small movement, but really effective just to isolate the glutes. Up, squeeze. 10 more, squeeze. Remember, with every workout, you want to hold it for at least two counts right at the top. Squeeze. Squeeze, last five more. Push. Good job. Three more. Doing well. Keeping your hips squared. Last two more. Tap and up. One more. And up. Okay. Rest the left leg. Now, change side. Let's go with the right side. Extend your legs straight out. And point. Ready. Let's go. Up. There you go. Down. Up. Squeeze. Hold for two counts. Three, four, good job. Five, very nice. Feel it right at the glutes. Six, small movement. Seven, eight, try to kick higher. Nine, but remember, do not overarch your lower back, okay? That's five more. Keep a flat back. One, Two, 
three, four, that's one more, and five. Oh my gosh. Woo. Oh, what a workout. I'm sweaty, I'm feeling my glutes, and guess what? We want to repeat the entire round once more. So, grab your dumbbells. Now that you are more familiarized with the movement, I want you to really focus on your glutes and really target every angle, okay? So step wide, toes pointed out, dumbbells in front, in between your legs, ready, let's go. Sumo squat, push up, pushing through your heels, and up. What is the focus right here? It is your outer glutes as well as your inner thighs. Up, good job. Up, 10 more. Remember, gaze forward. Two, two counts down. Up, very good. Pushing your knees out, good. Let's go. Dig deeper and go lower. Last five more. Down, up. Four more. Up. Stay with me. I know I'm feeling the burn, but it's good. It's going to help you develop a round butt. One more and drop one dumbbell. Okay. Are we ready for some side lunges? Start at the edge of your mat. Remember, we're stepping out with your right foot, okay? Left toe pointed forward. Are we ready? Let's go. Only one dumbbell, push. Good job. Loading on your right leg, push. Push your butt back, okay? Remember to push your butt backwards. Load and push. Good job. As much as you can, point both toes forward. 10 more, let's go. Eight more, push. And just keep breathing, okay? Pace your breathing. Last five more. Back up, reset if you need to and back out. Three more. Whew. I'm really feeling my legs here. Last two. Stay with me, okay? I know it's burning. And one. Switch the other hand. Let's start right at this side of the mat and pushing your left leg out, okay? Remember to brace your core, suck your belly in and keep yourself in a neutral position. Ready, let's go. Push, good job. Load the left leg and up. Very good, remember, your arms should not be doing any work at all, okay? It's just helping you to add on more tension by holding on to a dumbbell. If this is too much, you can drop the dumbbell, okay? Good job, halfway there, eight more. Straight legs. You should also feel the stretch on your inner thigh right here. Last five more, push. Three more. Last two. Good job. And one more. And up. Okay. Are we ready? Let's get down onto the mat. Grab either one or both dumbbells. Lie straight down, okay? Again, just a reminder, if you feel that you're feeling more on your hamstrings instead of your glutes, that means that you have to bring your legs closer to your body, okay? If you're stepping too far out, that's when you're going to feel it more on your hamstrings. So remember, Step your heels close to your butt in a nice triangular position. All right, I'm going to go with both dumbbells, okay? Place two dumbbells on your hips. Are we ready? Let's go. Up, squeeze, two counts at the top. Lower yourself down, up and squeeze. There you go. 
So what we want to focus on is the contraction right at the top. Every rep matters. So give me a solid quality rep. Good job, squeeze. 10 more, two counts up. Down, nice and controlled, up. So don't just let your butt fall flat onto the ground, okay? Control every movement. Good. Six more. Stay with me. I know it's burning, but that's what we want. That's how we keep progressing and improving on our workout. That's four more. Three. That's two more. And up, hold it. One, two, three, higher four, five, and drop. Whew. Okay, now get back up, get into all fours, okay? You don't need your dumbbells for this workout, okay? Get onto all fours. Remember what we're doing, straight leg kickback, all right? So let's start with our left side, point your toes. Are we ready? Up and squeeze. Remember, keeping your hips squared. Lower your legs down, tap, up. Feeling it on your entire glutes, but also the underbar. Up, down, up. 10 more, up. Good job. As you notice, this workout is a lot slower compared to all my other workouts because this workout focusing focuses on building your strength and it's very specific on a certain muscle group, okay? Up, last five more, up. So it doesn't work so much on your cardio, but it's more about working on your strength. Last one more, and up, squeeze, good job. Now, change the other side, okay? Right leg straight, are we ready? Let's go. Up, squeeze. Remember keeping your leg in a straight line. Two, brace your core. Try to keep a flat back. Four, five, tap onto the floor, do not rest. Six, squeeze. Seven, good. Eight, push it up. Nine, and just gaze onto the floor, okay? Keeping a neutral spine. We don't want to basically put any tension on our neck. That's four more, one, two, three, and four. Very, very well done. Oh my gosh, okay. That is the end of round two. So we've worked on our quads and our glutes. And for the final round, the focus will be on your hamstrings, okay? This muscle right here at the back of your leg. So take a short break, keep yourself hydrated, and I will see you in the final round. Are we ready for the final round? So we have worked on our quads as well as our butt. What is left? Your hamstrings, the back of your legs, okay? Do not neglect this muscle because it's going to make your entire legs look really full and nice. So there will only be two exercises, all right? So again, right now, I want you to focus your mind onto this part, just this part right here. Okay, so let's start. Grab onto your dumbbells. The first workout is going to be stiff dead lift. Just like the word, Try to keep both legs as straight as you can, okay? Just keep a slight bend in your knees, but as much as you can, try to keep both legs straight. So again, toes pointed forward in line with your shoulders. Drive the dumbbells close to your legs. Try to keep your legs as straight as you can. Feel the pull on your hamstrings, that's what we want. Keep your back flat and squeeze right up, okay? You should feel the pull on your hamstrings and up. You don't have to come all the way up. Again, we're not working on your glutes, we're working on your hamstrings. Good. 
So the dumbbells should be close to your thighs and up. That's it. Okay, how do you know if you're doing this workout correctly? Do you feel the stretch on your hamstring? Yep, that's what we want. So dumbbells close to your thighs all the way below your knees, up. If you're finding yourself doing this, remember this is wrong. Back flat, okay? Look straight ahead, chest up. Feel the stretch as much as you can, up. I do understand that some people have tighter hamstrings as well as tighter hip flexor. So only go as far as you can, as long as you feel the stretch, come back up, okay? So don't compensate on your form. Give me seven more. Down, stiff deadlift, straight legs, up. Okay, nice and controlled movement. Three counts down, push up through your heels. Use the strength from your hamstrings. Up, four more, down, up. So again, I'm pushing my butt back as well. As you can see, I'm pushing my butt back, up. Straight, down, up. One more, down, and up. All right, good job. Now, let's drop the dumbbells. Let's get down onto the floor. Similar like the exercise we did before, let's get into a glute bridge position. Again, it's about changing your posture to target different muscle group, okay? So just like the bridge position, what I want to do now is tiptoe, all right? And lift your butt up throughout the entire workout. What I want to do is step out, step in, step out, and step in. Do you feel your hamstring? If this is too tough, place your heels down, step out, feel the stretch on your hamstrings, step in. Okay? Remember what I said, if your legs are too far out, that's when you will feel your hamstring. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Stepping out and in. I know this workout is not easy. Find your balance, brace your core, and in. Push up. Good job. Give me five more. Okay, really extending forward. Feel the work in the hamstring and pushing it, pulling it back in. Last two more. Last one more. So choose your option, okay? Either tiptoe or drop your heels down. Very good, okay. Now let's get back up into standing position. Grab your dumbbells, okay? It's back to the first workout, stiff deadlift. So again, remember, start in a neutral position. Knees, toes pointed forward in line with your shoulders. Keeping your dumbbells close to your thighs all the time. Pushing your butt back, keeping your legs as straight as possible. Go past and up, okay? So pass your knees and up. Chest up and up. Good job. Keeping your back flat, okay? It is very important to keep your back flat. Keep your shoulders open, so do not hunch. Down, up. Remember, what are we feeling? Your hamstrings, so feel the stretch on your hamstrings. And push, good job. Down, push your butt back, straight legs, push. Give me eight more. Push, there you go. Woo. Hamstrings, something we often neglect. Down, up, five more. Let's go back down, as low as you can, okay? Up, that's three more. Down, up, two. Okay, don't rush through. Every rep counts. And up. Okay, drop the dumbbell. Final workout. Are we ready? Get into a glute bridge position. Remember, start with your heels close to your butt. Place your hands next to you. Push into the ground. Lift your butt up. Choose your option, okay? If you want to start with your heels, 
step forward, step back. So always be conscious of your hip position. Lift it up, okay? Do not dip your hips up and step in. Step out and step in, okay? Feel the stretch on your hamstrings. Are we ready to tiptoe? Let's go. Up, step. Only eight reps, okay? In. Good job. As high as you can. In. Push. <laughs> Imagine that you're doing this by wearing a pair of high heels. Push. Last four more. Tiptoe. Last three more. Up. Two more. Come on. Keep it strong. And up. And drop back down. Okay. Slowly push yourself back into standing position. All right. Woo. Oh, so that is the end of your lower body workout session. We started off by focusing on our quads and then we went on to focus on our glutes and finally your hamstrings. So I hope that this workout has taught you the basics of a proper lower body workout and that in the future, if you were to perform lower body exercises, you will know exactly which muscle you're working on and that your mind will be fully in tuned and connected to that particular muscle. And it is very important for you to know that because that is how you can keep progressing and for your muscle to keep growing as well. So I hope you enjoyed this workout. Remember to end with some quick stretches if you want to and I will see you in the next workout. All the best.